Hey guys, it's Fani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool. What if I told you I found a math that was written in a comic book style, but it was rigorous and challenging and kids love it? Well, I found just a curriculum and it's called Beast Academy and I'm about to review it for you. So I'm about to show you Beast Academy Math, which is an awesome math program that I fell in love with. It comes in online course and hard copy courses, so let's just get right into it. So Beast Academy is a full curriculum for ages 8 through 13. Each level is split into four units, levels A through D. For each unit, there is a guidebook and a practice book. First, we're going to be talking about the hard copy books. The guidebooks provide comprehensive, vigorous instruction and a fully illustrated textbook written in an engaging comic book style, which my son absolutely fell in love with. The practice books include hundreds of exercises, problems, puzzles, and games to reinforce the lessons that are taught in the guide. I was sent the books for level 3A, which is recommended for ages 9 and 10. However, my son, who's in third grade, he's 8 years old, he's doing very well with this level. This chapter includes chapters on shapes, skip counting, and perimeter, and area. So first, I want to read something to you from the website itself on how Beast Academy got started. It was created by the Art of Problem Solving team that has trained tens of thousands of outstanding middle and high school math students since 1993. It says, as we prepare these students for the rigors of top tier universities and internationally competitive careers, we often wondered why aren't there more students who enter middle school loving math the way that Art of Problem Solving students do. Beast Academy is their attempt to solve this problem by presenting mathematics as a beautiful creative discipline that it is. We do so with challenging problems, engaging explanations, and a focus on the hows and whys of mathematics. It's the curriculum we wish we had when we were aspiring, when we were aspiring mass beasts ourselves. So the way you use the books is simple. If you go onto their website, they have a page that looks like this. When you go into the lesson on angles, you go to guide 3A pages 14 to 17, the kids will read that guide and then they'll go into the practice book and they'll do page seven, numbers one through six. It also coincides with the online course, which they would have to go to chapter one, lesson one. So now I'm gonna show you the online course. Okay, so the first thing you do is you log on, which I already did. He logs on actually with his password and all of that. This is your home. So, so here you have your library. So if you have the hard copy, this is where your guidebooks are gonna be, where the comics are and the lessons, because the textbook is a comic book. And this is the class, and this is the theater with any videos that they have. And we'll go to the theater really quickly. And so let's say that there is a problem that's a little challenging. Um, they can come in here and they can look at the video. And the video, sometimes the lessons will prompt you when to watch the video. ...of each of these polygons. But first, we need to know what perimeter is. The perimeter of a polygon is how far you'd go if you just took one trip walking along the sides of the polygon. Okay, so I like that he's very animated. He shows them exactly what to do and he makes it more understandable for the kids. Okay, so let's go back home and we're gonna go to our class. So let's say my son sits down for the first day and his lesson, we had to unlock all of them because we had to skip skip counting because he already learned this. So normally, all of these that don't have stars on them would um, be black and white and he would have to unlock. In order to get these in color, he'd have to unlock this one first and so on and so forth. But I had to ha um, have them all unlocked so he could take skip counting test um, because he had already learned it. He took the test, he passed it and we were able to move on to perimeter and area. So now I'll probably go back and lock it again if I can so that it'll be more exciting for him to unlock all the different courses. So let's say he goes into perimeter basics. It has the instructions here. It explains what perimeter is. It gives you an example. Here's one of your little beast guys. It explains what to do. Then it says click this notebook button to review this topic in the guidebook. So we go here to the library and we go to perimeter and area and here is his lesson and it's a comic book form it's they make it in the story so you're seeing it actually being used it's very interesting my son enjoys doing math every day now 
and I'm not just saying that like I'm telling the truth <laughs> he really likes because he loves comic books and and you would think that maybe this wasn't that challenging but it is ve actually very challenging actually some kids have trouble with it so you might want to um, try it out or do the placement test first to see if this is something your kid can do it doesn't go over the problems over and over and over again for kids who don't need that kind of continuous repetition it makes sure that they do learn it they do have a review kind of like a test at the end of each unit to make sure that they are understanding it okay so then you go back to get started and you have to find the perimeter of the polygon below so let me get, put that answer in and oh it took the sound out okay so then you see this little line you didn't see that went up and it shows the problem it tells you that you got it right that's the answer and this is why and then you go to your next one then you do the perimeter you move on and the point is to get three stars two stars means they understand it very well one means they get it and three means they really really get it so you do that for the whole lesson all the way to the end and then we'll mute it again and then they unlock the next lesson so you just do one lesson a day so what I also like is I'm gonna go into my email really quickly I'm just trying to get here okay it says so this is for February 2nd through the 8th and it says in the past week, Aaron played for a total of 189 minutes. Most recently, Aaron has been doing working. It tells you what he's been working on. And here's a summary of the week. So for these were the lessons that he did. Um, it tells you if he earned a trophy. Three stars means he's an expert. Two, he's advanced. One, it's proficient. And an uh, exclamation mark means that he needs help. So going into this, he got three stars for, for this day. Um, and he took him 22 minutes, took him 56 minutes on February 5th, and he only got one star, so he was having a little trouble there. The toothpick puzzles looks like he needed he needs extra help, and tells you how long that he that he took, and then you can get the full report if you click on it. Okay, so the full report shows here how many trophies he got. If he got any trophies, didn't look like he got any trophies that week. Um, let's see what the trophies are. Then he got a little one here. Um, 35 stars, 169 checks, it took him 12 hours, 12 hours since we started. So anyway, you can really go into this. We've only done it for two, about three or four weeks. So I honestly haven't checked this yet. <laughs> uh, he had two tests. I get them because I'm with him while he's doing his math and I see what he needs help on. So I haven't checked the report. But you guys see that there is a report for parents. It shows his progress and it shows his activities. And you guys can look into that more if you decide to get this. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We really love this Beast Academy. I'll post the link in the description below for you guys to check out. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.